It's Conical Borer Whistle Madness. I have five to show you. Three Clarks, a Shaw, and a um, Carbony. Let me start with the Clarks, the oldest Clark. Boy, they're noisy when they put down. This is um, Robert Clark. There's his name on the actual whistle stamped on. This is a heavier gauge tin than you'd see on um, the later Clarks. And it is a D, it's stamped D. I don't think it was ever painted. It does have the weld on the back, which you see on the newer Clarks, wooden block. Just two uh, stamps holding it in and they're, they were stamped really hard. For all that though, the block is a bit mobile and has shrunk with age, so uh, this is hard to play. But I'll, I'll give it a, I'll give it a go. It's quiet, but uh, I think the tuning of it is excellent, and uh, it does have a good bit of back pressure to it. Now let's compare that with, um, this is a newly made Clark original, uh, tweaked by Jerry Freeman, so he has actually cut away uh, the block to um, make a beak. He has uh, squared off, let me get this so you can see it. He's squared off the uh, windway. He has adjusted the labium. He has tuned it. And it is uh, quite an instrument. Conical bore um, whistles have closer spacing to the holes. These are approximately the same pitch and you can see pretty much how they're arranged here. Uh, not quite the same spacing on this one as uh, the old one. I'll play the same tune. Very responsive instrument. Um, I find it really very balanced between the octaves. Easy to jump them, which I enjoy doing. Now, some years ago, Clark uh, approached uh, Copeland to ask him to help design a mouthpiece for uh, a different kind of whistle. This is a sweet tone. These are still available. I, I just saw them on Amazon for 17 bucks, and they're really a deal. I think they're quite they're tunable and. Um, you can uh, you can get quite a sound out of them. Same tune again.
bit more of closed tone, almost a, I think almost an oak arena sort of a flare to it. Let's compare that with the Shaw. Uh, I'm not sure that Jerry is still tweaking these. I know in the early 2000s he was. That's when I got this one. Uh, I've read about other tweaks that he did where he actually flattened the uh, top of the windway into the instrument. He's done something different here so that there's no sharp edge on the side. Um, he's done some work on the blade as well here. And uh, it's a it's a quite the instrument. It's quite loud. So I hope it doesn't overpower the mic here. Uh, I think it's pretty well in tune with itself. Uh, finally, this Carboni. I bought this some years ago before the uh, various types were available. I think this is as closest to the standard uh, Carboni. He makes a quiet whistle and a session whistle. This one, I think, is a um, close to the standard. I know he's changed the, um, the head joint a little bit, but this one has the same... Um, lovely ebonite there in the uh, uh, in the mouthpiece. It's a wider uh, bore. You can fit the uh, Shaw right in there. Same tune again. Vintage Clark, new tweaked Clark, Sweet Tone, Shaw, and the Carboni. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. <laughs>